Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to learn the topic averages in class 5. I have included this topic under the heading mathematical operations or numbers because to find out averages, we will be using both the addition and division operation. And to check if your answer is correct, we will be using the multiplication operation. Let us see this video in detail to understand what is an average and how to find out averages. Finding averages. In our daily lives, we come across the average calculation frequently. Average can be defined as a central value in a set of data. In other words, an average value represents the middle value of a data set. The data set can be of anything like age, money, cricket runs, temperature, speed, etc. Let us take an example of this statement. The average normal body temperature is generally 37 degrees Celsius. This means that most of us will have our body temperature around 37 degrees Celsius. Some may have it at 36, some at 38 and some at 37. But on an average, the body temperature is generally 37 degrees Celsius, which is almost the mid value. Till now we saw theoretically what is an average. Now we need a formula to calculate average mathematically. What is the formula to calculate average? It is nothing but sum of quantities divided by number of quantities. Let us understand the usage of this formula to find out average with the help of example sums. Marks scored by Ramu in 5 math tests are 72, 78, 83, 67 and 80. Find his average mark. The first step in the solution is to always write down the formula. Average is equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities. Here quantities that are given are 5 math test marks. So we will have to find out the sum of the marks first. 72 plus 78 plus 83 plus 67 plus 80. Let us do vertical addition to find out the sum of these numbers. 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 plus 7 is 20. 0 carry over 2. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 8 is 24. 24 plus 6 is 30. And 30 plus 8 is is 38. So the answer is 380 is the sum of the 5 math test marks. What is the next detail that we need? Number of quantities. So the number of tests here is 5. So the number of quantities will be 5. Substitute these values in the average formula now. Average is equal to sum of quantities which is nothing but 380 divided by number of quantities which is nothing but 5. Let us divide 380 divided by 5. 5 into 7 is 35, remainder is 3, bring down the next digit 0, 30 divided by 5, 5 into 6 is 30, 30 minus 30 is 0. In division, the quotient is the answer, so 380 divided by 5 will give you 76. So the average of the 5 math test marks of Ramu is 76. Now take and write down the answer, Ramu's average mark is 76. Let us take another example. Six bowls are kept on a table. There are 45, 38, 40, 41, 36 and 40 chocolates in each of the bowls. Find the average number of chocolates in each of the bowls. Write down the formula. Average is equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities. Here the quantities is nothing but the chocolates that is placed in each bowl. Now we have to find out the Sum of number of chocolates. 45 plus 38 plus 40 plus 41 plus 36 plus 40. Once again, we'll have to do vertical addition here. 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. So 0 carry over 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20 and 20 plus 4 is 24. So the sum of number of chocolates is 240. 
Number of quantities is nothing but the number of bowels, which is nothing but 6. So, let us substitute these values in the formula. Average is equal to sum of quantities 240 divided by number of quantities 6. So, when you divide 240 divided by 6, 6 fours are 24, 0, bring down 0. 0 cannot be divided by 6, so you add a 0 in the quotient. So, the answer is 40. What is this 40? This is the average number of chocolates in each of the bowls. Take and write down the answer. Average number of chocolates in each of the bowl is 40. Hope you have understood how to find out the average using the formula. Let us take another example now. Find the average of first seven odd numbers. Write down the formula. Average is equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities. Sum of seven odd numbers. First seven odd numbers. What are the first seven odd numbers? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13. Now once again we will have to do vertical addition. Let us start adding. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. 25 plus 1 is 26. 26 plus 3 is 29. So you will write 9 and 2 carry over. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So the sum of the first 7 odd numbers is 49. What is the number of quantities? Number of quantities is 7. So average is equal to 49 by 7 which is nothing but 7 because 7 into 7 is 49. So the average of the first 7 odd numbers is 7. Take and write down the answer. The average of the first 7 odd numbers is 7. Let us take another example. Marks scored by Anvika in 5 subjects in the final exam are 84, 95, 90, 89 and 92. Find her average mark. First step, write down the formula. Average is equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities. Here, sum of quantities is nothing but the sum of marks. 84 plus 95 plus 90 plus 89 plus 92. Let us write down to do the vertical addition. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. 0 carry over 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 9 is 19. 19 plus 9 is 28. 28 plus 8 is 36. And 36 plus 9 is 45. So the sum of the 5 subject marks is 450. That is the total marks that she has got is 450. Number of quantities will be 5 because we are going to find the average that she has got in 5 subjects. Now substitute these values in the formula. Average is equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities which is nothing but 450 divided by 5. What is 450 divided by 5? We know that 5 into 9 is 45. So 5 into 90 will be 450. Take and write down the answer. Anvika's average mark is 90. Now I am going to show you another method to check if the answer that you have got is correct. If you multiply the average mark that the child has got by the number of subjects, we should get the total marks got by Anvika. Let us see if this is working out correctly. Average is equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities. So average was 450 by 5 which is nothing but 90. This is what we found out. Now to find out the total marks of Anvika, we have to multiply average marks by number of subjects, which is nothing but will give you the total marks. What is the average? 90 into number of subjects is 5. 90 into 5 is 450, which is the total marks which is being got by Anvika. So the average that you have found out is correct. This is the method to check if your sum is correct. Take and write down the answer. Anvika's total marks is 450. Let us do one more example. The average daily water consumption by Ravi's family is 4 liters. How much water do they consume in a week? Write down the formula for average. Average is equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities. Average daily water consumption into number of quantities that is nothing but number of days in a week should give you the total water consumed in a week. What is the average daily water consumption? It is given in the sum is nothing but 4 liters into number of days in a week is 7 days. 
So if they drink four liters per day for seven days, how much will they drink in a total week? Seven into four, twenty-eight liters of water. So write down the answer. Ravi's family consumes twenty-eight liters of water in a week. These are some of the learning outcomes of children in class five under the topic division. Of which I have completed the first topic, division of five-digit numbers by two-digit numbers in a separate video. In the next video, I have covered how to divide and check your answer by multiplication. In this third video for division for class five, I have covered the topic averages. In my upcoming videos, I'll be doing unitary method, story sums applying multiplication and division, and we'll be doing sums to understand all the four operations in mathematics, and we'll also do mental math and division worksheet. I'll be dealing with each of these topics in separate videos and links to all the videos will be given below in the description box of proper naming convention for your quick and easy access. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the quality of my video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do not forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell button for regular notification of all the new videos that I am going to put in my channel. See you again.